ProLin PLN. Hello, my name is Kyle Bentley. I'm an application engineer with ProLin PLN. In today's Snack Bite video, we're going to be looking at the design for additive manufacturing. In particular, we're going to be looking at the lattice structures inside of NX. With additive manufacturing being more prevalent, you're going to see the lattice structures being more common. Introduced in NX1102, we have the ability to quickly create complex lattice structures with just a couple clicks. Here you can see I have a connecting rod with some areas that have been voided to keep the part lightweight. However, I still want to keep the strength and integrity of the part. So inside of NX, I can use the lattice command to quickly create those complex lattice structures. Inside of NX12, you have two different types, the unit and the conformal graph. We're going to look at the unit graph first. So notice it says to select a body or a volume in this case. So notice when I highlight over, it's looking for a volume to place those lattices in. So I'll go ahead and select the body I have modeled up and I'll change my type and then the numbers as well. So you can change the edge length and the rod diameter in here. So notice it previews in the middle. I'll go ahead and expand preview and show those results. Now notice it takes up the volume of that body. However, notice in the lattice structures, they are protruding through both of those surfaces there. So I'm going to go ahead and undo that result and then turn on the boundary trim, remove dangling rods at selected faces. So I'll go ahead and select one of those faces and then I'll leave the other unselected so we can compare those two. And then I'll go ahead and preview that result. So notice in here it is now trimmed off and the lattice structures go up to that surface. However, on the other side, they are protruding. So notice with the unit graph, we created lattice structures that are, are in a linear form. Okay. So let's go ahead and look at if we needed to create lattice structures in more of a contoured area or shape. So let's look at the type called conformal graph. So down here in my connecting rod, I have an area or a contoured area in here. I want to place those lattice structures. However, I want it to follow that path to keep the strength and integrity of the connecting rod. So inside of the lattice conformal graph option, it's looking for a face or surface in here. So all that is is an offset or an extracted surface, and then you do an offset between that. Okay, so I have one built in here. I'll go ahead and select it, and then I'll change the type in here as well. And then we can specify our edge lengths and our rod diameter. Now notice in here we have an offset. So notice my vector. I'm going to go ahead and type in a negative two and a half millimeters in here. And I'm going to leave the layers as one and then show my preview. Notice with the layers on one, it's only showing half of that. Okay, so I actually want it to be on both sides with the offset of negative two and a half millimeters here. So I'll go ahead and undo that result and then type in two so it's on both sides there. Okay, so I'll go ahead and show that preview. And then press OK. So notice how the lattice structures are following that contoured area so it keeps the strength and integrity of that connecting rod. 
So inside of NX, that is how we can quickly create lattice structures with just a couple clicks. ProLim PLM.